So, Jonathan, if you don't mind, for a couple minutes, can we talk about bangs and if it's even possible for people with curly hair to have bangs? It's, it's very interesting because bangs are fun, bangs are sexy, mm -hmm. and they do look really, really good. Absolutely. And it's part of today's fashion style. So what we have to do when it comes to curly hair is we can't really use the technical term bangs. So we frame the face. We use the hair around the face to uh, highlight features, cheekbones become important. But to have a straight bang which is covering the whole forehead that somebody with straight hair can get away with is not a great idea. I personally do have clients who have bangs, okay. curly bangs. Sometimes they blow dry them straight, whichever they want. Uh, bangs can be a little bit more of a commitment. Because when you have bangs, they're right in front of your face. People see right. them all the time. They have to be styled nicely. It's not a lot of maintenance if it's not too short. Okay. Because once you're once you go into the, the bang issue, then you're bang committed. So then you always have to wake up and fix your bangs because they're curly. If it's straight, right. by all means. Well, not everyone can have bangs. The majority love to have bangs. Uh, we get that question all the time, can I have bangs, can I have bangs? And sometimes we like, talk to us in the next haircut. You know, so they can really think about it because it's, sometimes it's an instant thing that they see in the magazine and they want it. Yes, it does take a lot of time sometimes to straighten it, uh, but have fun with curly hair. The reason I put bangs is, you know, we do get bored. So I put bangs, um, not every shape, you know, ask your stylist, ask each individual stylist if you can have bangs. Growing out is probably the hardest part, you know. With me, um, I always do bangs, then I take away bangs, and uh, I have fun with it. I pin it up. I uh, get a curl. As soon as I get a, a curl into my hair, it actually sits into the hair. So I always say, don't worry about having bangs because as soon as you get, you know, a, a two and a half ringlet, it's into the hair. You'll never see it again. But have fun if you can. Go for it. What I usually do when I style it, I like to let it air dry a little bit. Put it in the product, let it air dry a little, see what sort of starts to happen. If it's right. going to go shrink up or how it's going to curl. And then I see if it's going to curl nicely on the face or how tight their curl is going to be and then I break it up, see how it falls. If we don't love the way that looks, we play with it because curl keep a reactive face with water, take a little bit of water, play with it again. It sounds like there's a lot of trial and error. There is. It takes a lot of practice working with it. I know even with the clients, um, it is a little bit more work and they come in for bang terms because you don't want it covering your face and getting in your eyes or you'll have to clip it back and things right. like that. Yeah. So they can, you can have bangs, but it is a bit more commitment to mine. It all depends on how it's done. Bangs scare a lot of people because uh, yes. they want to do it, but at the same time they don't know what's involved. Exactly. I have curly hair, can I have bangs? Of course you can have bangs. It has to be done really well. It has to be done to fit your face shape. It has to be uh, done so you can manage it. And whether you put your hair up or down, are you willing to wear it straight? Just the bangs right. or curly. So it has to be done the right way. As long as it's done the right way, then you can have bangs.